Greetings, this is Kate from Felicitous Freelancing, and I just want to talk to you today about some of the scripts that I've been using to optimize my Amazon Mechanical Turk experience. Um, I'm going to have some links uh, in the description to some of the scripts, but you can also find a more in-depth explanation and lots of other information on our blog, felicitousfreelancing.wordpress.com, and I'll also link to that in the description. Um, first of all, I want to say that I found most of these through the um, Reddit mTurk uh, subreddit and also through the mTurk forum. So I'm going to probably provide a link also for those because there's a lot of great info floating around on those. So first of all, I'm going to talk to you about my favorite script, the pending hits calculating script. And you'll see so far I have quite a few pending um, hits still. I've been turking for about seven days or, you know, active seven days, not necessarily consecutively. Um, so I have 33 pending hits. And what this does is total all those hits up for me. And this is assuming that all are approved. But if you're going through taking your time and following the directions, this is probably not going to be a problem. So they should be approved, and this gives you an idea of how much you have that's not included in your total earnings here. Now the second uh, script that I have here is a projected earnings for today. And this one's pretty simple. It kind of does um, the same thing as the pending hits, but it does it on a daily basis. So it adds your payments that you've been approved for and adds all the pending items that you have for the day as well. So you know basically this is how much you've done. As you can see, today was a pretty slow day for me. I was out of the house most of the day. So I didn't get too much turking done, unfortunately. But um, finally, I want to show you guys something. Um, we're going to talk about the hit database in a minute. But first, I want to show you the hit timer. And this is really useful. Um, you can just go to any of your days. Um, that has to be after you've downloaded the hit timer. So you'll see here it says estimated time taken. Now this is an important um, part that I wanted to highlight for you guys. You see here I don't have any information. That's because I did all of these items either on my phone or on my laptop and I'm recording now on my desktop. So if you did the hit on a different computer it's not going to show up. Now if I looked at my laptop I would see the estimated time here um, because I did those hits on that actual um, browser. But let's go back and we can look at yesterday and I did do some hits um, here on this browser so you can see it shows me the time it took to do a hit. Now this helps you figure out if it's worth your time. You'll see some um, the average is supposed to be about 10 cents a minute is considered worth your time. That's close, um, you know, six dollars an hour, still not minimum wage, but it's, um, you know, beneficial total. You could actually get somewhere. Um, and you can see here I did one, uh, it was four dollar, it took about 10 minutes, so that was pretty good. Here I have one that was only 20 cents, and it took me eight minutes. So this one really wasn't that worth it. Um, it sounded kind of fun, which is why I took it. And it actually was, it was not as boring as some of the surveys, etc. But you know, as far as actual payments, not the best. And then you can see, sometimes you'll get lucky and pop up with a, you know, dollar twenty only took me five minutes. So you just have to keep an eye throughout the day and see what's popping up basically. Um, now 
Here is uh, part of another script that we have, the Turk Optimizer script. The Turk Optimizer is a website where um, Turkers can add their reviews of requesters. So if I'm going to um, consider taking a hit, I can go here and I can click on um, the link here for the reviews and I can see comments on why um, people have given each requester the score that they have. Okay, now let me go ahead and show you how uh, the same function works when you're searching for hits. So let's click over to a search that I've done. Here you can see I did um, a search with a minimum of 50 cents that I was qualified for. Um, and I sort by most first or um, sometimes by reward amount least first so that I can see um, kind of usually this range is a quick um, some quick but good paying searches. So here we have um, the Turk Opticon reviews again. Now they look the same as when um, we were checking them out in the other screen. You can see the um, ratings that each requester has. You can click and um, read more about the ratings and they also have a link to see what the scores mean. Now you'll also notice um, here as well as when you're looking at your hits. There's a convenient little link to report your experience with this requester. And this will, um, after you've created your Turk Opticon uh, login, you can just click here and this will bring up a screen where you can fill out a review on that requester. Um, so that's really handy in a lot of different ways and this can kind of help you decide whether you want to um, work with a particular requester. So next up you're going to notice um, these little bars here and this is something different. This is part of the hit database script that we talked about um, I said I would come back to for you guys. So here you can see each little um, box here, we have mainly the ones you're going to notice are the R and the T. So what this script does, after you install it, you're going to go to your dashboard and you'll see it right here in this little green box that's new at the bottom. You're going to want to click update database and that's going to go ahead and check out everything you've done. It's going to look at the requester and the title of the hit. So this comes in handy. When you're looking at a hit, you've done a bunch of hits, you're trying to get your numbers up like we've talked about on the blog, and you want to get up there, but you can't remember every, um, you know, every requester, every name. A lot of times once you get through to the survey, then you'll realize, okay, I already did this one. I do remember it now, and you have to return and go and look for something else. So this helps you with that. Here I can see when the T blo uh, block is green, that indicates that I've already done a hit with this title. So these, you can see, I've already done them. Now um, the R is for the requester. So this is not showing my that I've done a hit for those requesters. And this is probably because I need to do an update. So let's go ahead and update this. And you can see here, I've, it's fetching the statuses. It's going to go page by page. And sometimes this can take a little while. And if you've been turkeying already for a little while, when it first does the update, it might take a good bit uh, because you're going to be going through maybe 20, 30 different um, pages that it needs to update. So once it updates that, then um, I'll have the correct color here. But it is showing me the title, so I already know that I've done these. 
Now, um, that is pretty much it as far as the scripts that I'm working with. If you know some more, please leave me um, in the comments some that you think are really essential or that you think people should know about. Otherwise, feel free to check out our blog. I'll have a link in the description. And leave us any comments you have about freelancing, blogging, or even making videos since this is our first video. Thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you again soon.